Alright, spawning so... is the Purple Terran in the 6 o'clock. We have Sail. A plus level BGH here. I wish. <laughs> so when I saw from the, the star screen, it looks like it's a uh, PTZ versus ZZT, which is definitely a very strong matchup. Even though a lot of people don't agree with having two Zerg as your allies, but you can do, if you can do a lot of harassment and get start out really strong in the early game, you can, uh, your Terran can help you finish it up and, uh, and win the game. Sounds good. Uh, let me just fix my overlay. Cool. So, uh, CEO's team is actually up 2-0 right now in this best of five, so if they, if they win this game, uh, they will advance to the finals to play against the winner of uh, Tupocalypse and I believe it is the SAS team on the other side. Uh, let me actually quickly check that. Uh, no, it is Seek Jesus' team, sorry. Um, whoa! Looks like we have a little bit of BM going on in here. I wasn't even paying attention. Fang and CEO. Uh-oh, 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 could we finally see an unally in the middle of the game? Certainly hope so. Now, this is actually interesting starting positions. It's basically the left side, CEO's team on the left side, against Fijo's team on the right side of the map. Um, so I guess these positions are somewhat balanced, more balanced than... Uh, I don't know, I don't know, what do you think, man? Um... I never had a really a traditional balance with uh, teams being on the left or the right side. You know, top versus bottom or more balance, more because you can help your allies a lot quicker. But since there's two Zerg, they're going to be able to control map and let the Terran tech up really fast and allow the Terran to skip on making units because they're going to be able to help him if they try to attack him. Oh. And so with them having a Terran, they've got to be a lot defen be very defensive and hopefully they don't get they don't lose to a double nine pole speed lane. Now Heartless Board, did he just manner his gas with that spawning pole? That's gotta be a mistake, right? Uh he definitely did manner it, so he's <laughs> definitely gonna have a little bit of a gas uh, slower oh, gas See, count. I was thinking I was like trying to think, I was like, does it because it's possible that because of the angle, like the normal path isn't ideal anyway, so I thought maybe he's being super clever and like trying to make it better, but Actually, it's just bad. <laughs> anyway, there's a probe running around in uh, Jonic's base. And, uh, uh-oh, the double Zerg. The double Zerg is going to the top left against uh, Engo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, gonna get a 2v1, gonna get ganked. Where's his ally? CEO, once again, going for his vultures, can't really help. And Rogue is really far away, so his zealots will take forever to get up there. But uh, Engo making a, a nice mini wall here for that sunken. So he should be okay. Uh, however, of course, with two Zergs, uh, Fijo's team will get the early map control. Uh, Engo says repair. Alright, alright, directing his ally. All of the Zerglings are nowhere to be found. And what is Jonic doing? Okay, Jonic is going for two facts. Are his... Jonic, for some reason, his two factories are a little bit slower than CEO's. I'm not 100% sure why that is. I believe he went, took his gas a little bit too late, and uh, the bad thing is, is that he pulled two SCVs off of his gas, like uh, in low money, which is a, a very big mistake because you're going to be behind on tech tree. You can't get that third fact as quick, like CEO already got his third fact building with his machine shop. Oh man, and Ficho and Heartless Boar just sacrificing, suiciding all of their lings into Engo's base. On the other hand, they have reduced Engo to only three drones. And a little bit of lag. No, not going to get another one. So yes, as you say, CEO has his three facts. He's actually continuing to mine gas, but if he's going for mass vultures, does he really need all three on gas? Um, obviously, he wants to get the vulture upgrades as well, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see what he does. With having three uh, people on gas, it allows you to tech up your, your vultures, it allows you to get siege tanks as well. While taking one off gas for a little bit, he's going to have tanks really later than CEO will, which will help him be able to secure and box in his allies and so they can double. 
Indeed, and we have a bit of skirmishing going on in the middle of the map, but nothing too crazy. One vulture from Dronic is out. Uh, looks like two now to help out. And where are the vultures? CEO's vultures are also coming in to join the fight. But a lot of lings coming in. He has to be careful. He has to micro that vulture really carefully. The speed is done for the lings. So they will... Oh, no, they will not get it. Or will they? I don't know. He's trying to get us around. Battle's going on all over the middle. Um, it looks like CEO manages to keep all of all three of his vultures alive. Very nice micro, and uh, a big Zealot Vulture Ling Force is now moving towards Feet Joe's base. He's got one sunken down, uh, a second Creep Colony morphing. Probe Block 5. I don't know. Oh, the double pylon wall blocking Jonek into his base. Vultures cannot leave. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this. Very, very cool move by Rogue. But it looks like one of the pylons will go down. Uh, but oh my god, he's gonna gateway it! Oh no! No exiting for you! Jonek! Jonek, don't attack the pylon, man! Attack the gateway! Oh no, Jonek is trapped! He cannot go and help his allies. Uh, Heartless Boy is making some sunken colonies now to help uh, defend against these mass vultures of CEO that just terrorizing all of these games. It looks like we have a big engagement here, but Jonek is fighting by himself against everything. Oh no, Jonek! Jonek canceling the, or Rogue canceling the gateway, and Jonek in a bit of trouble. Looks like Heartless Boar is going for a counter, but there are two sunken colonies and a decent SimCity, so I don't think that will be too effective. Meanwhile, Jonek, ooh, nice. Uh, timing on that barracks land, barely letting that last vulture in, and he does have mines now, while CEO doesn't. Um, so actually, oh man, they're just gonna leave again and re-pile on all that. Very, very cool play. Oh man, but CEO's gonna lose some vultures here in the middle of the map! No, never mind, he had a, he had a million more coming in from behind. Oh, and the pile on wall doesn't finish! Uh-oh, rogue, rogue! Didn't manage to finish it, so the vultures from Jonic do get out here. Oh man, huge action going on this game, oh my god. And it looks like those CEO's team is constantly coming out on top and now laying some mines so that it is difficult for the Zerg players to help their ally. Uh, of course, Lings against mines is generally not very good for the Lings. Oh, just as I say that, a huge explosion going down. And for some reason, Heartless Boar is backing up into his base. So it is just not looking good at all for Feet Joe's team. They might get 3 out as well here pretty soon. I don't know what they can do. Templar, do you have any idea what they can do to come back here? Um, right now, the with them both doing 9 pull speed, they needed to be a little bit more aggressive in the early game. Even though they did sacrifice all their links to the Zerg, I think that was a, a bad move on their part. They had to try to keep map control as as long as until Johnny get his uh, speed vultures out and be able to help them mine their entrances so they can't get countered or doubled. And since they lost map, there's not a lot you can do because seals just just go mine the zerg and obviously zerglings are very weak against mines. And the only thing that I could see them trying to do is uh, have Johnny be be as defensive as he can, mine mine the zerg and allow the zerg to a little bit more drone count so they can get their tier level 2 tech up. Indeed, but it looks like somehow uh, Jonek manages to sneak out with these vultures, so he will be going with uh, his allies to the top left. Gonna try and 3v1 Engo, but CEO is gonna have none of it. A huge mine going down. I thought it would blow up some vultures too, but no, just perfect positioning there. Didn't quite get the vultures. And here we go, Vultures and Lynx going in, but there are two decently placed Sunkins, although they don't quite reach the back of the mineral line. Just gotta be careful. If uh, Jonic focuses, he can definitely target down most of these drones. Looks like that is what he's gonna do. Uh, but the Sunkins are getting their hits in. He's losing a lot of Vultures. Actually, Engo doing a great job keeping... Uh, but it looks like only three or four drones remaining, but he didn't have that many to begin with. So um, definitely, definitely some nice crisis management there. And meanwhile, these tanks and dragoons just completely containing Jonek, trying to do some offensive mines. He might get a big one. He does, but it actually kills his own vultures instead. And it looks like Jonek now will be completely contained by siege tank dragoons and vultures. And the Zergs on low eco, only making Zerg things. Actually, a Wraith is out for CEO. I have not been clicking these players' bases just because there's been too much going on in the middle of the map. But let's take a look at what exactly is going on in every player's base. Um, a lot of factories going down, but that Wraith... No GG! Ficho leaves the game! Jonic GG's out! Heartless Boar leaves the game! CEO's team 
CEO Manor Engo and Manor Rogue will take the series 3-0 and advance to the finals. Very, very exciting. Very cool. All right. Definitely a, a great game by uh, CEO's uh, team. And uh, one thing I see wrong that Fijo did is that they sacrificed too many of their links to try to kill that Zerg. And when uh, Noah had a very good sunken placement, they should have just really pulled back and tried to do a little more aggressive on the Terran. All right. Thank you for the analysis. Uh, it looks like we have some...